Say you have three acres of field to mow, but the grass is a bit too soggy to pull out the heavy Z-turn. We ran into this problem recently and turned to the second generation Y Bravo commercial 25 inch mower to get the job done. Our primary objective was to find out if this Y Bravo model and its Kawasaki FJ 180V engine has the muscle to mow a frequently soggy field. Since it's not your typical lawn, it doesn't get the benefit of a weekly maintenance cut. Even as our boots sloshed around, the mower's wheels held good traction and it kept cutting. When we moved into the tallest grass, we had to slow down the pace some to get the blade RPMs up. The good news is that it just still kept cutting. Part of the credit goes to the engine, the blade, and the deck design. And the other part can be attributed to the mower's relatively light weight. The Y Bravo Gen 2 weighs 127 pounds, which puts it well under the 150 pound mark that we see with many similar walk behinds. Shifting into the self-propelled drive and transmission, we saw even more of an impressive performance. Florida doesn't have a ton of hills, but we were working on a pretty steep embankment for this job. It did an admirable job of mowing side to side on the slope. The transmission has two speeds to choose from, but it's located on the left side of the deck. You gotta stop to shift it over. You can, however, disengage the blade and take your hands off the handle without shutting off the engine. Practically, it's nice to be able to drop into a lower gear when you're looking for the best control. The single blade that comes on this Y Bravo mower does a great job giving a clean cut with lots of lift. But if you've got clients with floor tam, zoysia, or other varieties with a thicker carpet, well, this will leave you really nice even lawns when you get done cutting. On the bottom of the deck, we noticed a replaceable wear strip. This protects the edge and takes damage before your deck does. Even though the mower power is impressive, the blade doesn't quite chop the grass up into as fine a pieces as some other mowers using stacked blades. That's not a huge surprise, but something worth noting. We love the simplicity of a single point height adjustment on a residential mower. However, for a commercial mower that's the size and weight of the Y Bravo, four point is probably better for long-term durability and rigidity. Y Bravo opted for a belt drive system instead of a direct drive. This really helps protect the blade system if you hit something solid. That belt will absorb a lot of the shock and it gives you a better chance at avoiding a bent or broken shaft. Another thing Y Bravo touts is less expensive replacement parts than many of its competitors. Looking around the mower, it seems like many of the wear parts are also easier to access. That should help reduce the cost of labor as well. The bottom line is that the Y Bravo commercial 25 inch does so many things well with its Gen 2 model. It's just not that well known. This seems to be changing in our little corner of Central Florida. Neighbors and pro lawn crews stop us pretty frequently to ask about it. Anyone who stops long enough to try it leaves just as impressed as we were. Now don't just take our word for it. Call up your local dealer and arrange for a test run. You might just find you have a new favorite mower. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.